Today's new tip of the day discusses how to build a bus rapid transit line, or BRT line, to supercharge your buses, making them the hot transit to ride as well as give your services an express lane to perform their duties more efficiently. I originally built the BRT line using the two-lane, two-way bus-only highway roads, but I found that services didn't use that road because the description says responding emergency services, so I'm taking that to mean police and fire vehicles with their emergency lights on. So I thought to myself, how can we alter that design? So I really wanted the benefit of having an express road for services. So let's take a ride on the bus here and I'll show you a slightly different approach to building a bus rapid transit line that services can use. We'll go over how this is different and show a few examples of the BRT line in action. So hopefully you can see that I built the BRT line with two road types. I use pedestrian streets from plazas and promenades with bus lanes on both ends with two lane, two way regular highway roads from mass transit DLC in between. So the pedestrian street blocks all the delivery trucks and private vehicle traffic, but allows the buses and service vehicles except garbage through. It also serves as a place to put bus stops for pedestrians and bikers. The two lane two way highway road is a road any vehicle can use, blocks pedestrians and bikers, and is the express piece that supercharges the line so that it's the fastest way to travel, dramatically increasing the ridership of the bus route, as well as making it much more efficient for services to get around town both in speed and unencumbered by other traffic. Using the bus only highway doesn't allow you to place bus stops or give police, fire, and hearses the ability to move freely throughout the city. The downside with pedestrian streets is trash trucks can't use it because plazas and promenades has these service points for pedestrian areas. But like I said, the other services will use it as well as your buses. Another example over here, a BRT line that links the city to a park and ride along the highway. You can see the police using it here. Once again, to create stops and access points, use the pedestrian street with bus. This one is a stop to connect the BRT to the ferry system. Here's the park ride. The idea here was to make the BRT line the fastest way compared to the highway and causeway, and people are using the BRT line fairly well. This route here is moving a lot of people. Right now, about 900, and I've seen as high as 1100 when the airports get busy. Now I'd like to take a minute or two and show off what a bit of detailing can do to make the route look amazing at night. The BRT line is behind buildings because you can't zone on a highway. And I left about four tiles of space between the four zoning tiles of each block. That allows you to zone a 4x4 building along the roads and place the highway road in the middle, which takes up two spaces, then a space left for trees, decorative tiles, and lighting. It looks great behind these European high density residential buildings. I also upzoned along the route to increase the density and thus ridership as well, as provided a few places with leisure and office for destinations citizens can go. This is sometimes referred to as transit oriented development. And that's the BRT line. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Until then, happy building.